visitors and subscribers. Nice to meet you here again at Crazy Engine's channel. UMS Evolution UT735 7 star shaped engine. Radial engine is installed on the bench and waiting for that run. This test run uh, is dedicated for tuning and learning the engine operation. And during the first hours of engine braking process I was found a lot of interesting uh, details which are not com so commonly uh, not so common in engine practice general. First of all it's the fuel composition. A manufacturer recommends to use twice less oil in the fuel mix so they recommend about 8 to 10 percent of the oil in the fuel mix I was very surprised. Also manufacturer uh, tries to limit the amount of nitro uh, using in the oil mix up to 5% maximum. So under these circumstances I was obliged to brew uh, the fuel for this test run by myself and it, contains, uh, it consists of 5% nitro 10% of uh, module micro 2T uh, synthetic oil and the rest 85% it's a pure balanced methanol. I also decide to change the whole uh, seven unknown plugs supplied with the engine for uh, well known and reliable, reliable glow plugs uh, produced by OS type F. Uh, also I was found that engine, engine valves uh, right from the box has a very high uh, valve slash it's approximately uh, in average around a one millimeter which is 10 tons higher that is recommends also in engine manual so I was uh, uh, change and adjust all 14 uh, valves to the 0 0.1 0 0.15 millimeters valve slash and that's also not the all differences which I found in the engine. But anyhow, let's watch the whole story. Thank you.
So there is also a very interesting procedure of adding after-run oil into the engine. First of all, we should take out the push rods. Then we're adding after run oil of amount of the 10, 15 uh, millimeters. So and returning back all the parts. Okay. Then you should turn crankshaft several times to distribute the after run oil inside engine's case. So that's all. So my dear viewers and subscribers, I uh, should say that uh, this uh, cycle was uh, very informative for me hope for you too. First of all, I was found that uh, engine shows uh, the classic uh, uh, engines, radial engines behavior. Uh, after the uh, run, uh, it uh, collects the uh, oil and fuel residue in the low cylinders. So at, uh, for the next uh, flight or for the next uh, day of test, you need to unscrew the glow plugs and to pour out the oil and fuel residue to ensure stable engine operations and avoiding the possible hydraulic lock. The second, regarding this engine, also interesting, that is necessary to check out uh, the valve flash in each one or two hours of operations and if it's necessary to adjust it. Also, during the regular operations, engines need additional lubrications of the moving uh, joints of the push rods and valves as well. And also, it's the most important part for me, the after correct break-in, and it uh, needs at least three hours of operation, engine shows a very nice uh, behavior on the low idle, and I was able to achieve the stable idle uh, around 1000 RPMs, uh, without any glow plug support. Anyhow, definitely I will recommend you to install glow plug drivers uh, to ensure the correct engine operation, especially in the air. So, my dear viewers and subscribers, thanks a lot for watching. I wish you a very nice day and see you very soon at Crazy Engines. Bye!